the most important part was the sample roasting. Uh, I roasted the, all the beans separately, that the component of the blend, uh, in a very similar roast profile, almost the same, because I want to keep one thing constant. And then the bean tell me if that roast profile is good or bad for that bean, for that coffee. So I kept everything constant for all the three coffees, like I would say medium roast profile, not too fast, not too long, uh, uh, medium developed after the post crack. In this 2017, we had Ethiopia Cochere, so it's a Yirgachev terroir. We had a China Yunnan terroir uh, natural from uh, Katimura and Katuai or Katura blend, um, natural process. And the third one was uh, Panama Finca La Esmeralda uh, washed Katuai. By tasting, uh, I choose what is, in my opinion, the best coffee out of the three and I put 80% of that coffee 10 and 10 um, because in my opinion it was so much better than the other two. Uh, Panama can, it was uh, like mild, uh, very mild, nothing extraordinary but so mild. Uh, the China, Yunnan natural was actually, I wouldn't expect, but it was very sweet and nice fruitiness. But as it cools down, it shows a little bit of woodiness down, uh, that comes from Katimor variety. That is a, uh, you know, a genetic blend between Katura uh, uh, and Timor Est, so it's a natural mutation from Robusta. And uh, so that's why I choose Ethiopia Irgachev, because when me and Yuri uh, tasted the first time, like, what is this? Is it like a geisha? It was really beautiful, like say, no, I have to use this one in 80%. So 80% why? Because by rule, we have to use at least minimum 10% of each coffee. So 80, 10 and 10. That's it. Since this year, there is a new rule. So sweetness and balance is times two. It means you, if they are looking for balance and sweetness. And for some kind of coffee, like single origin coffee, uh, it was not, it, it was a medium, like I give it as 84 points, uh, like the potential of the green. So, nothing extraordinary. And you are not gonna get extraordinary cup. So what I, um, what I did, uh, so when I tasted in the sample, uh, in the, when the, we taste the sample, I said, this is a good roast profile, I did. but. When it cools down the cup, it's, the acidity is, it's, it was like, pheno, not phenolic, uh, phosphoric, like quite intense. I didn't expect from the China coffee. So I said, I need to make it more balanced. I need to create a, a more developed coffee. That's what I did. Uh, so to kind of, I don't want to say to cover, but to highlight the sugar browning without going in the roasting it. Stage, you know, just the sugar browning to create uh, a balanced uh, cup. It's not going to be outstanding, but it's enjoyable, balanced, and when you create balance, you get also the sweetness. For the blend, I did the opposite. I want to highlight brightness, florality. So the roast profile you will see in Cropster, they will be published. I went very much faster because that's what I learned. You need faster roast to highlight florality and the Ethiopia washed. But then I went a little bit darker than my usual because what I learned from my fail, so this is my four, fourth time. So I failed the first year, failed the second, failed the third. And I understood why I was failing. And so the debriefing is the most important. First of all, follow your passion. Don't do this job for money, because if you do that for money, you will decrease quality. And the customer will lead your roastery. You want to be the leader of your roastery and put your passion. The suggestion number two, be a good cupper. The most important tool you have as a roaster is your tongue and your nose, nothing else. 
to be a good roaster, you, you have to know coffee, so you, you, know, you need to know how to taste. That's the most important, because if you don't know how to taste, you are not going to understand if you're doing a good job or a, or a bad job. Suggestion number three, yeah, it was work hard, hard, hard. It was really hard at the beginning for me, like super hard. I didn't have any customers, zero. And I started so small, I started to roast coffee in 50 grams machine that I put in my kitchen, in my house. 50 grams copper rolling on the stove of my kitchen. Don't expect to receive help from anyone. Learn from yourself. Go to training. Spend a lot of money to train yourself and a lot of time to test yourself. Do a lot of tests and taste. You will find a lot of difficulties. Don't give up. Go ahead, grow little by little. Little by little you will have much more experience. When you get the uh, success, you will be more prepared for the success. Roasting machine is your best friend. That's your best friend. You need to know what happened inside that machine. And you need to test. Test the airflow. Test the, how it affects throughout the roast. Test how it affects to, uh, after the first crack. Shorter, longer, then cut. That's, uh, that's my suggestions.